Okay guys, I just changed from having a nightie on to this shirt. Something a little cooler. It is really getting hot out here. And so I put something a little cooler on. Um, I don't know why that black tank top. I don't know. I guess it's a little thicker than this. So I had posted, um, putting on a nightie I wore for my husband. And I still have the shells too when we went to the 99 restaurant that he wanted me to wear these shells. The the food came in these shells, so he um, washed the shells when we got back from the restaurant and wanted me to uh, display them for him. You know, ladies, when you are married, don't be shy, okay, when you're, late, when you're married. Your husband loves everything usually about your body. Even if you have some flaws, he, it's going to bother you more than it does him, okay? A guy usually isn't too picky. Um, somebody said that they wouldn't keep that nighty because they said I would get rid of it because you're not going to have fond memories in the future. These are my memories. They're mine and they're mine to keep. Uh, God gave me a marriage of 34 years, whether he wants to leave or whether he doesn't, whatever. Um, God gave me the gift of marriage and I am a mother of five sons. So I am the mother of Vincent the mother of Alex, the mother of Mick, the mother of Zach, the mother of Jake. Do I got them all? Yeah, I am a mother of five. So there is no way when he's hanging around with another woman, he, he probably is. There's no way that woman can take the place of me. There's 34 years, and whether he wants to honor me or dishonor me or respect me or disrespect me, there is no way you can take that away. So 34 years, I am the wife of Benjamin May. That's who I am. I'm his wife, period, and no one can take that away. And even if the state says, okay, you're divorced, before God, we are still married. And even if another one comes into the picture... Someone who likes married men probably now who's trying to be with him. That that reflects her bad character, right? And then even if she marries him after, I'm going to be going over this book today uh, or tonight at some point, Divorce and Remarriage. When you are divorced, you're supposed to stay divorced until you can fix your marriage. That's the way it's supposed to go. And if he chooses to be with somebody else, she still cannot compete with me. Um especially when you're married this long. I've had a lifetime of memories with Ben, and there's not one woman on earth who can compete, not only with me personally, but to compete with that marriage. Not one. I mean, I don't know any woman who has the character as a Christian woman, who has the body that my husband enjoyed, who has the ability to have the five sons that I've had. Each single son, too, was a like a miracle. Every single one of them. There's not one woman who can compete with what Ben has had. I mean, our firstborn son, um, he, um, we didn't think we could have kids. I mean, we tried and tried, and we didn't think we could have kids. I feel like I have a hair in my eye. Um... We, you know, and we tried and I thought, you know, oh, God's probably punishing me. I probably can't have kids. So my first son, Alex, was a total miracle from God. Total. The way he was born too, you know, I didn't think um, the placenta was separating. And I thought I was going to lose him. I'm eating an apple and I feel like I got a, something in my teeth. Um, My dad used to use toothpicks to get stuff out. My dad was a tough guy and when we go when we would go to the bow and arrow shoots he'd it looked like little Joe on Bonanza. My dad was a good looking guy with a toothpick sticking out of his mouth. Um so, you know, Alex is you know, I thought I was going to lose him three days in the hospital having him. Then um with my second born had him in the hospital um, another miracle, just had him right after. And then we had our third son, first home birth, sweetest, you know, again, sweetest looking cutie little pie. No one can take the place of me. I, I hate to say it, but even if a woman tries to move in, 
I'm the mother. Nobody can be another mother to my sons. Nobody can. We live in a day and age where we have like, oh, stepmothers and all this stuff. But no one can take the place of mom. Okay. And then when we had our last two, they were both miracles because it was after my husband's cancer. We were told we couldn't have any more kids, most likely. And then we had two more. And then I wanted more and my husband didn't want any more. So um, if my husband goes with someone else, not only is it immoral, okay, if he's doing that right now and he's being disloyal, not only is it immoral of him, but um, it also is not going to be blessed by God. I'll tell you that right now because you've got one party, me, who has been willing to work it out with him up until this point. I have been. And even if he, you know, uh, divorces me, you know, I'm still single. So he is called by God to work it out with your wife. You're supposed to work it out. So there's no, you know, what's he got? Probably if he's lucky, if he's lucky the way he's going, he'll probably die soon because he's so overweight with his stomach. And it is harder during these mid-years to take care of yourself. But there's no excuse for him not taking good care of himself right now. And it, even if he married someone else, he's only got probably less than 20 years with his health with somebody. So, um... He's called He's called to repent. He's called to work things out with his wife. And he's called to act like a father. And he's not acting like one. So even if a woman had 20 years the most with him, she's not going to have 34 years with him. And even if she if he happened to live until old age, she's still, still not going to have second grade on with my husband. There's no one who can compete. My husband gave himself to me. I gave myself to him. They're, geez, what I say? 40-something years together? Uh, close to 50. Especially those formative years where you are growing together and you are meshing together and you have such a history together. I'm not going anywhere. So if a woman thinks she's moving in, I'm not going anywhere. Um, I have still yet to do some more stuff with yearbooks, etc., etc. So... He is the one who's responsible for working things out. Right now, he has lost me for the way he has treated me. And he would have to work very hard at working things out. But he is called to work out his marriage and to to respect it and to honor it. And if he can't do this with his first wife, he isn't surely going to be able to do it with another one. So, um... Right now, we're, you know, other than legal stuff, we're pretty much done because he hasn't chosen to work things out. He signed divorce papers and everything, but I am still here and I'm not going anywhere. So, um, so yeah, I'm keeping my 90s. I'm keeping, um, I'm keeping a lot of memories we have together. I just opened a package that I had sent from New Hampshire here. Um, that's a lot of the Boy Scout pictures I just opened up of my boys um, I got another box I sent from storage, a lot of photos and pictures that I kept that I'm keeping. So no one, I'm irreplaceable with my husband, absolutely irreplaceable. And if any woman thinks that she wants to compete with me, she's got another thing coming because even if he married someone else, the memories are going to be in his head of me. That's just the way it is with a guy who's been married so long. It's just he's gonna have memories of me and no he will always be thinking of that woman in a way of competing with me it's just the way it is so um god god made it forever that's what god said you're you're intertwined your souls forever there's no getting out of it until somebody dies so um as the mother of his five sons five children he should be cherishing me greatly because of everything I've done for him. So he needs to change. And you know. God will have to deal with him. And that's the bottom line pretty much. Okay. Thanks for joining me guys.